Oh, welcome back to Let's Play Over Final here. Fantasy X. We made it to the Albed City of Home. Oh. Something's wrong. Ah, shit. This doesn't look good. What? You with us down there? Of all the places. Let's go. What the hell's going on? Oh. Where's Yuna? Kaku! Who? Who's attacking us? Root had threatened me! Between Yevon and the Albed? Try get a new! Why do you come from those so many us? Kidran! You can check his pulse at his ear, I guess. Location, head over to the left side because there's going to be an Albed primer over here. I believe there are two more in this area in home, so find them before you leave the area because I'm not sure it's possible to get them if you miss them. Now, isn't this something? The Guado are attacking the Albed. Now, as I was mentioning in the last episode, that there's been a lot of hostility between Albed and Yevon, but it's never been so hostile like this. But the Guado, they appear to be in some sort of, like, uh, power play, you know, with Seymour going and maneuvering himself into a better position. Yeah, but maybe it's possible that the Guado are just trying to eliminate the competition. Yuna, where are you? Fort Power in, uh, Spira. See, look, these are Guado. These aren't, uh... I'm seeing Guado here. I'm not seeing the humans that are a part of Yevon. So let's just assume for now that this is the Guado's doing and not all of Yevon. Bombs. Actually, the, the bombs are weak against ice, not water. Although, I'm not quite sure it really matters. those high potions, though, don't you? Here's another thought. The Guado, or the Guado along with the Evan are attacking the Albed city of home. The Albed have been kidnapping a lot of summoners. Maybe that has something to do with it. Of course, we know the answer, and I'm not going to go through that right now. Anyway. I'm just making up some speculation. Oh, jeez. Amelia was slowed down like crazy there.
find Yuna, quick! What in Yevon's name are those quattro? This is terrible. Steven Walker, the most anti Albed member of this group, doesn't like this idea of just attacking the Albed. Okay, so there are two Albed farmers in this location. The first one, you gotta head back a little bit, go through this door. Riku's gonna protest, but you don't have to listen to her. No, not that way. You're gonna have to fight a couple of monsters, so. Uh, I opened that chest too quickly, I didn't read the text. And I didn't record that one. Okay, so there was an Albed Primer over on the bed there. I already picked it up. I'm not sure you can see it, though. That's a bit of a shame. Over in this direction, you're going to find another door. And there'll be an Albed Primer up next to this door. And you can go in the door, and there are a couple of treasure chests in there you can get. These things can be annoying because they have a lot of HP and they can deal a fair, fair amount of damage, but they are susceptible to slow, including the Guado in the end. But using silence or dark attack on them is kind of useless because they don't use normal physical or magical attacks. something, will ya? Aqua breath. I can learn this 
spell if you use Lancet on these creatures with Kamara. It'll be an overdrive attack. They do take a beating, don't they? Um, Tidus, you should not use Brotherhood against these creatures because they're strong against water attacks. So what I should have done was swap his weapon out, or have a different character in the in the party during this fight. Oh, apparently I did figure that out. Nice. A lot more damage. It's almost twice as much. Do a little bit of arithmetic, but you have to have enough of your outbed timers to understand the plus minus times and plus for the different digits. So it'll be five, six, three, and three. Special sphere. Let's go take a look at that. Oh, uh, are you outbed? You want to say yes, even though you're not actually outbed. Yes, we are Albed. What's the name of the Albed's leader? Uh, the son of Albed's leader is Brother. What island does Albed live? Beacon Isle Island. What is Albed and Albed? Of course, it's Albed. You just need to have enough primers to figure that out. And a skill sphere. Why is the wall on fire? Looks like it's made out of concrete. Or stone. Nineteen hours ago. See that right? I know I haven't been playing the game for that long. This place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. We all bed. We... We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the all bed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again, but now, why did things have to turn out this way? Riku! Damn those Guado! What are they thinking? This is the first time we've really seen Riku not run around acting all cheery and stuff. I guess it takes the destruction Riku, of her home. What is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnap them? I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But guardians are there for that. If guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. Right? Uh, no one's looking him in the eye. Right. I have a feeling that's not the case.
It's quiet. Kimari goes now. Huh. It's his way of avoiding an awkward situation. Latita sees it as the summoner's job to protect the it's the guardian's job to protect the summoners and the Albed, for some reason, or at least by Riku's justification, they are kidnapping the summoners to save them, to protect them. Of course, Titus doesn't understand why, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense given what we've been told so far. He thinks he can keep Yuna safe no matter what. But now we're starting to find that he doesn't know as much as he thinks he does. He thinks he does. Yuna, please be here! Treasure chest off on the right side of the screen. Nothing there. Level 2 key sphere. Summoner's Sanctum, I guess where they keep them. Yuna. She's not here. Hello again. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. They were protecting the summoners from the Guado? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Aren't they a part of Yevon now? Why would they attack the summoners? Hey, um, what sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust Guardians to protect the Summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin... They might defeat Sin. Yuni could... But then she... Yuni will die, you know? Ah, so that's it. You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Yuni too, you know? A summoner to face sin, yeah? You don't know. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves just so the rest of spirit can be happy, right? Is our 
choice. We all live in fear of sin, you know that. A world without sin. That is the dream of all Yevon's children. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. Hey, watch. <gasps> uh. Hey, you got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's going to help this time. You know what? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know? <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. I think. Right. Now, let's see what you can do. I want my journey to be full of laughter. I can't let her die. Well, you may not have a choice. I'll find her! You gonna stop her from doing her pilgrimage? Well, that revelation is going to be a bookend for this episode, so tune in for the next one and we will escape the city of home.